Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Are you running out of space on your iPad or your phone or any device? Of course you are. We all are. But the good news is you don't have to delete your older stuff to make room for newer stuff. By the way, you should never delete a picture or video ever because you just never know when that picture is going to be the last picture that you took of someone. Now I did make a video like this a few years ago, but one of the components that I used in that video is obsolete. They don't make it anymore. Before I actually had to have two separate pieces of gear to get that to work. And now all you need is just this one thing by Western Digital called my Wireless Passport Pro. It's four terabytes. That's ginormous. To purchase two terabytes on the cloud is gonna run you like 12 bucks a month. This is a one-time payment of 179. One of the things that I really appreciate about this is the fact that it has an SD card slot right in it. So you could just plop your SD card in there and it will automatically back up those files onto the hard drive. You don't even have to hook it up to get it to work. You just have to turn it on. It's really easy to set this up and get going. I'm going to use an overhead camera. This way you can follow along, makes it a lot simpler. I purchased this off Amazon. It was 179 bucks. I will leave a link for this down below. If you do purchase off that link, it is an affiliate link, so it does help to support the channel, and I thank you. This is basically all you get. You get the hard drive, and you get the cable to charge it. But this charging cable can also be how you hook it up to your computer, your desktop, your laptop, or even your iPad. And as you can see, that pulls out, and it's just a regular USB. This also doubles as a battery bank. So let's say you're out in the field and your phone is running low, you can hook it up to this and charge it. When I first took mine out of the box, I charged it before I turned it on. It's not a must, but I recommend that you do it. The very first step is to power this on. And if you flip it over, there's a the little power button right there. You just press it and hold it for a few seconds and so you see those lights come on. Download their app from the App Store. It's called MyCloud OS 3. Now let's go into settings. Go to your Wi-Fi. When you turn this on and have it close to your device, it's going to read that. I have two different options for this because I do have the five gigahertz speed. You may only have the 2.4. In either case, choose the fastest one that you see. Since I've already installed this, I'm not gonna be able to show you this step, but when you choose the My Passport that you want, you're going to be prompted to sign into it. In your box, you're going to get one of these sheets. It's going to give you the security code to get into your wireless passport. And this is the point where you're going to type that in. Once you've signed in, that little check mark should be by it and you should be good to go. And let's launch the app. Once we're in here, we're going to add the device to the app. If you have the same device as me, you'll hit the plus sign by the My Passport Wireless Pro, and that will add it to the top. Once it's been added, let's go to settings. We'll tap on the My Passport. This is everything that you'll ever want to know about your device, how much space you have left, where your battery life is. The first thing that we need to do is start creating file folders so that we can move either videos or photos onto this. So let's tap the three bars on the side and tap on your My Passport. Tap on Storage. There should already be some file folders created there. So what we need to do now is start adding our own file folders of where we're going to place our items off of our device. To do that, let's tap on the three dots that are right on the corner and we'll choose New Folder. It will automatically create a folder. Now let's name it. I'll name mine Family Picks and then hit Return. So even though I changed the name of it, it still says new folder. If you just pull this down, it will refresh that and change the name to what you newly named it. You'll see their family picks. And you can create as many different file folders as you want. And now I wanna start moving pictures off of my device into these file folders. So let me go to my pictures. Once I'm in my photo roll, I'll hit select. I'll choose the different photos that I want. Once I have all of the photos and videos highlighted, I'm going to come down and hit the share button. And you'll notice that your iPad automatically is going to recognize that MyCloud OS 3 app. We'll tap that. Now it's going to ask us to pick the device and the location. The device is correct, but let's put it in the file folder that we want. So where it says location, we're going to tap that. We'll tap storage. And now we're going to tap on whichever one of those file folders you want to put it in. I want family picks, so I'll tap the family picks and then I'll hit select. 
and then I'll hit save. It will automatically start saving those pictures to that file. Now, depending on how many videos and pictures that you sent over there, it could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to upload. Once it's done saving those files, it will say done and then you just tap done. So if I wanted to make space on my iPad right now, I could erase all of those and it, it really wouldn't be a big deal. But I have so many pictures on there and, you know, I just like every now and then opening my phone and checking out pictures of, you know, people that are no longer with us. So I'm going to leave those on my iPad. Just to be sure they're there, let's go ahead and launch the app. Go to Family Pics and here they all are, just safe and sound. My sister had just graduated from high school in that picture and now she's... 30 something with four kids. I wanted to show you another way to take a look at some stuff. Let's launch the file folder of our iPad. Where you see locations, you can see that my cloud is there as well. Let's tap that, go to storage, and here's all of your files again. Let's say I wanted to pull some stuff off of my cloud. Go to the gear channel. Now let's say I wanted to save some stuff off of the cloud. Same thing, I'll hit select, choose the things that I want to save. I'll come down and hit share and we'll choose the my cloud again. If you have anything that's in your cloud that's not on this device but on a different device, you'll have to wait until this finishes. Depending on how long it is, it could take a few minutes. Once everything is done downloading, same thing, we're going to choose the file, location, storage, and then choose whatever file that you want to put it in. Choose select and then choose save and this process could take several minutes as well. Once you have everything saved to this passport, you can wind up cleaning out a lot of stuff from your cloud. And sometimes that can save you a lot of money because I was paying for two terabytes of space and I think it was a couple of years ago, it was like 10 bucks a month. I'll hit done and we'll just go to that app to make sure indeed that it's there. Storage, there's all the little videos. Oh Marv, I miss him so much. Our house was a wreck. We had just painted the place. Oh, he loves Amy so much. Look at, he's just digging into her and looking at her. I do want to show you something that is very important in case you're working with media that is on an SD card. So let's go over to the settings. Go back, storage, back. That's the problem with the pencil sometimes. Back until we see the three bars, let's hit the three bars and go to settings. Once this window comes up, hit my passport and where it says SD card, hit that. You have to make sure that these are turned on in order to use the SD card where you plug it in and it automatically backs up to your device. Make sure both of these are activated because if they're not, you put the SD card in, it won't do anything unless it's hooked up to your iPad. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to plop in the SD card and that's going to start reading that. There's one light blinking when all four of them are illuminated. It's done copying your files. Okay, all four are illuminated. So let's go back passport storage. There's going to be a file folder for SD card imports. Hit that and then you'll see the date and tap through. And there we have it. And then you could just take out the SD card, done. Now, believe it or not, the only thing for me is, is turning this guy off. And then you're just gonna wanna double click the power button a couple times and then press it and hold it. And then it'll turn off. Now, I know you're gonna think it's weird that you have to press it a couple of times and press it and hold it to turn it off, but I was moving this thing one time and I realized that when I picked it up, it was still backing up files. I was on the power button and if it didn't have like that tactile turn off type of thing, I would have lost the information. So if your device is maxed out on space and you really don't want to keep paying for cloud storage, this is a really great option. And that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you to everyone who has subscribed and likes my video and leaves comments. I, I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad.